uh, you often hear that uh, senior marketing doesn't work well in general, and that the people and market uh, don't budge. Our institute conducted a consumer survey uh, this June. Just 14.8% uh, of those aged 50 to 59 uh, thought that uh, senior referred to themselves. In other words, word, was, uh, some 85.2% didn't think it referred to uh, them. It's not me. Uh, even in their uh, 60s, uh, only 15% uh, wanted to be called senior, with the remaining 85% not want to refer to in this way. I'm not senior. <laughs> Uh, we call uh, we call uh, this uh, uh, the senior barrier. The same trend is seen in the United States. To put it plainly, as long as the word senior is used, consumption won't grow. The problem for uh, providers, that is, uh, manufacturers and service vendors and the media, is that uh, they think the senior market is a small market comprising retirees. For instance seeing it as a traditional old age market, just only the nursing care business. Another thing uh, we often hear is that uh, seniors are near the end, so uh, there is no point going after that market. But is that true? As for first point, uh, this graph uh, represents demographic change in Japan. The line across the center is age 50. Uh, this is the change from 1920 to uh, 2110. Then, in 2020, the line is uh, right in the middle. What is mean that up until 2020, Japanese society was centered around those in their 20s and 30s. From now on, uh, Japan will be a, a society uh, where those aged 50 plus make up the bulk of the population. This is in progress in 2020. The rest of the world will also follow this path in the future, maybe in Korea. As for the second point, uh, are senior people really appro approaching the end? Basically, how life is viewed is about to change significantly. Uh, as a left figure, uh, until now, it was commonly thought that after 50, uh, life was all downhill, just living out the rest of uh, one's life, uh, one's days. Uh, as a right figure, uh, from now on, while uh, various things also happen before a person turns 50, in the context of individual lives, that is, uh, personal lives, it seems that may, uh, many now want to enjoy more fulfilling lives once they cross that milestone. It's changing from left to right. In fact, in a June survey, we found that uh, some 82% of respondents uh, in their uh, 40s to 70s want to uh, remain youthful and stay positive no matter how old they are. Uh, so, there are huge business opportunities in such segments as supplements, gyms, and yoga class, uh, classes. With the positive outlook gained by getting healthy or uh, maintaining their health using uh, these things, the 50 plus generation can then uh, travel and uh, eat out, and buy beverages, uh, cosmetics, uh, consume movies, uh, for instance, uh, Parasite and Sanya uh, Pruschak, uh, music and other entertainment, buy cars and motorcycles and remodel their homes, uh, etc. Uh, this creates a virtuous cycle. It then vitalizes business, uh, leading to jobs for uh, young people as well. Today, uh, we are witnessing the advent of a massive new adult market and the structural change of the market. And this market will continuously generate work for young people. I hope to work with you all to leverage changing uh, demographics worldwide to revive economies and revive uh, spending uh, in the months and the years after the coronavirus. Thank you, Mr. Sakamoto. Um...
Let me just briefly share uh, our company's example because I think it will really uh, link nicely to Mr. Sakamoto's uh, presentation. Our company in Korea is known as a company that um, has main customer um, in Korea that we call as a senior group. So we mostly serve our customers who are age over 50, 60s, and 70s. Uh, we're also known uh, in this country as uh, the one with uh, very good at releasing innovative uh, new products. One of the products that we launched a couple of years back was just to cover cancer uh, possibility of people above 65 and plus. I think at that time, the, the competitors in the market or uh, other market players um, kind of thought as us as crazy and it was too risky because you don't know what's going to happen and by the stereotype everybody thought that the older uh, people are more uh, subject to getting uh, hazardous diseases like cancer. But what we found out was it's really not the case. Uh, cancer doesn't come to you just because you're older but, and we also found out that our senior customers are very good and very cautious at maintaining their health. So it's not about the age, it's about how much you care about yourself and from the business side or from the marketplace side, uh, it's about how you look at the challenges and converting that to opportunity. The World Knowledge Forum.